All right, guys, I'm going to show you a super easy fix to the DS4 Windows controller problem uh, regarding PS4 controllers. I struggled with this for two days. I could not fix this, so I'm going to make this quick and easy because I saw a bunch of tutorials that were taking way too long and they did not help me. So uh, open up Google, type in DS4. Uh, this first one, this J2 Kings one that'll pop up on Google. It does not work for me. I could not get my controller to be t detected, which I noticed a lot of other people couldn't get theirs to be detected either. So what managed to work for me was right here on uh, techspot.com. It is this one right here, this this website right here, techspot.com. Uh, I will link it in the description for you guys if you wanna use this. Or if you think I'm a big hacker boy and you don't feel like it, you can just literally Google DS4, come down here, it's right here. So don't click anything else. Make sure you have an ad blocker if you're sick of looking at those fake download button ads or if you're feeling <laughs> brave, I don't know. Uh, click this right here. This is the right one, guys. So Windows 64-bit. Um, don't click anything else if it pops up for you. Once again, I have an ad blocker, so I'm not getting a bunch of like download buttons everywhere, but it's downloading. So as you can see, it popped up right here. Go ahead and click it. Uh, I'm going to exit out of the website. You want to click DS4 Windows, this folder right here. Press Extract to. Go Desktop. OK. All right. And now it will extract it to your desktop. And it's right here for me. So I don't know why it decided to do that. Um, but yeah, so now we have it on our desktop. Go ahead and open it up. You will see all this stuff. Uh, I was a noob, so I pressed DS4 updater and kind of screwed myself. For some reason, that messed something up, so I had to re-download, but that is not the point. Just uh, all you have to worry about, guys, is the Scion one right here. Go ahead and double-click it and press Program Folder. I'm going to exit out. There we go. And as you can see, it is detecting my controller. So if yours doesn't work that way, which it didn't for me at first, it was not detecting my controller, you have to go to control panel and type in, let's see, control panel, there we go. Press hardware and sound, devices and printers, and go to your wireless controller or whatever your controller is. For me, this is my controller right here. Go to hardware, HID compliant game controller, driver, Oh, sorry, change settings. There we go. And you have to go to driver um, and press uninstall device. Okay. Once you press uh, uninstall HID driver, you might have to restart your computer. That'll probably help. And now you go back after restarting, go into your settings, click on controller slash driver setup. From there, it'll take you, it'll ask you a few questions. Press yes. Um, basically what it's doing is it's just setting up your controller, downloading it onto the driver and setting it up with the program. So yeah, just make sure you press yes and install the uh, driver for your controller and then go ahead and unplug your controller and plug it back in and hopefully it will fix it because that is what worked for me. So now we're going to talk about uh, the Forza Horizon problem that I had. I actually got my controller to work but I couldn't get it to work in the game. So it was detecting this, it was on DS4 Windows, I thought that all my problems were solved, and then I open up Forza Horizon 4, and my controller does not work. So I was pretty frustrated with that because it took me forever to figure this out, but um, I will show you the simple fix on Forza and how to get your PlayStation controller to work with Forza after you have it working with Windows. Okay guys, go ahead and open up Forza. As you can see, I have it here. It is not working for me right now. As you can see, my controller is not being detected. You can kind of see the uh, enter in the bottom right flickering. That means that it's detecting your controller, but it's not working, right? So if you press X or press any button, it's, it's like flickering, but it's not there. And I was so confused. All you guys have to do is straight up open up um, DS4 Windows again after you have your controller up on the screen here. As you can see, it's detecting mine. Go to settings and all you have to do is press hide DS4 controller. Now, it's going to make me black screen in OBS here. So I'm going to quit recording real quick and I will come back to you and show you that it is working uh, that after I press hide DS4 controller that it actually works in my game. 
Okay, as you can see, I pressed hide DS4 controller. I pressed okay. It'll pop up asking if you want to make changes to this computer or whatever. Press yes. It's just like hiding. I don't know what it means, but for some reason, that's the only setting that I could make it work. So now if we come back into Forza here, I will show you that it should work. And there we go. So as you can see, options, I'm going through. I'm able to control everything and completely use the controller now. So... For some reason, you have to press that option in order to get your controller, your PlayStation controller, uh, to work with the actual game. So.